One type of decrease that you see a lot in patterns is the SSK, which is basically slip, slip, knit. And here's how you do it. So first of all, you want to place your right needle under the first loop on your left needle as if you were going to knit it. So going in from left to right. And then you want to slip that off your needle. That's the first S in SSK. And then you want to do the exact same thing with the second one, and that's the second S. And then now what you want to do is you want to place your left needle into those two loops that you just slipped. So put your left needle in from left to right. Now you can put your working yarn around your right needle and then with your right needle, pull that through those two loops and then pull your left needle out of those two loops. There you go. So now you have one new stitch on your right needle and you did it by taking off two stitches from your left needle. So that just decreased by one stitch. So let's do that again. So slip your first stitch as if you're going to knit it, slip your second stitch, and then put your left needle into those two loops, put your yarn around your right needle, pull that through those two loops, take your left needle out of those two loops. Again. Just notice that if you're knitting continental style or English style, it's the exact same process. It's just that putting your yarn around your right needle at the end will look maybe a little bit different. So SSK with continental knitting will look like this when you're putting your yarn around your needle. And if you're doing an English style, which basically just means that your yarn is held with your right hand, it's going to look like this. If that worked for you, write down, I did it in the comment section. If not, write down one of these comments.